Hello again, everyone. This is Instructor Victor Campos for CIS 165 JavaScript Programming. To wrap up our lesson zero, let's set up our basic boilerplate, our basic template for our HTML projects that we will use over and over. I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code again. I'm going to File, New, File, File, Save As, and I'll call this basic.html. Notice that Visual Code will show me two tabs. I can have different items open at once. I can open my Explorer here and it'll show that I'm in Lesson 0. These are my files and these are the ones that are open. If I no longer want L1 open, there's various ways where I can close it and just focus on one. If I want to open more than one document at once, I can easily click it and then they open up. At the top right corner, I can split the editor so I can see more than one document side by side, whichever way you want to work. So for our basic document, we're going to set up very similar to what we did before, and maybe this time we will take advantage of the code completion. We're going to set up our document type of HTML5, our HTML tag pair, so this time I'll say, yeah, help me complete it, so I'll press enter. Then I'm going to close it and notice it knows that I want to close that pair so press enter. Now I did want to break that into multiple lines so I need to go back and press enter between the two. Head tag enter close head tag body tag so I'm gonna add some space between those Meta. I'm going to close that or else I might forget. Back up and add the car set. Notice it's helping me. So whenever any of these pop up, you can easily click it to select it. And notice it wrote the rest for me. UTF-8. Next line, I'm writing title. I can click or press enter. I'm going to keep title on the same line. The title of this document will be basic HTML CSS JavaScript file. Inside of body h1 and if you're curious notice as you're writing the code it tells you the h1 element represents a section heading so you can learn a little bit as you type by reading that and a little bit more if you click this uh, info icon read more which is control space uh, not much to read here but when we get with to more complex code it's pretty interesting so I'm closing that h1 and here I'll just write basic because remember the title on line 5 does not appear in the document object so I'll save that to take a quick look at what it looks like I'm going to open it in the browser. There's basic. It looks like what I expect it to be. I'm going to give myself a style block, a CSS block. If any of these tabs don't look exactly like mine, don't worry about it. As I said, we can keep it tabbed or aligned if we want. And then before the end of body, we'll add the script block. So inside of style, I'm going to add a comment here. My CSS goes here. Inside of script, I will write my JavaScript goes here and then at the end before body end of body I'm gonna write the 
HTML comment and write name. So then you put your name, email, put in your email. Project, this is basic project. Description, this is my basic HTML, CSS, JavaScript file, and a date. However you'd like to write it, but I like to write it in this format, year, month, date. In the web browser, nothing that interesting, but in our code, a basic structure of about 23 lines where we can use this to write code for our future projects. So practice this, and this basic structure is what we will use many times throughout the class. Next we'll start looking at our textbook and start building our JavaScript knowledge. And we'll have lessons and such and grades and we'll progress to the class and I think we're gonna learn a lot. So remember to ask questions in the discussion board and blackboard help each other out. I'll help you, of course. Ask me questions. Send me emails. We'll be in touch and we'll succeed together.